Lumakarados, welcome back to our channel. Today I'll be creating a Get Productive With Me video. So I'm doing this because a lot of people nowadays are just becoming more lazy. It's because of quarantine. Quarantine affects us all as it changes some of our habits such as sleeping and eating habits and of course other aspects of our lives which can then result into lack of energy, lack of motivation, lack of inspiration and just in general us becoming more lazy. But how do we overcome laziness? Well, let's get into that now. <laughs> Let's begin with keeping a regular 7 to 9 hours of sleep and setting up on an alarm clock. When you wake up in the morning, you might find it tempting to just stay in bed and do nothing for the day. When that happens, an alarm would help remind yourself of the things that you need to accomplish. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Tidying up your bed and cleaning it is a must. This is the first step into a productive day, so you'd never forget this. Never forget to tidy up your bed because if what I see is tidy, we immediately feel better. We think clearer and we become more productive. So never forget to tidy up your bed. Wow! Next, I eat breakfast while listening to motivational speeches, podcasts, radio, or news. I normally have a cup of tea with some crackers or biscuits and fruits as a side dish for breakfast. It is not the movement of the clock that produces the newness of it. It is the movement in your mind. breakfast is essential to begin a productive day because not only are you feeding your stomach but as well as your brain through watching the news with inspiring content and or listening to motivational speeches or inspiring podcasts. Once I finish eating, I would clean up the dishes, wipe up the table and get myself ready to exercise. Being active is essential to stay healthy and motivated. The more you do, the more you feel like you want to do. <laughs> Exercises can improve your mood and give you energy, which plays a major role in creating motivation and keeping laziness at bay. Because I live here in Canada, I try my best to walk outside every single day during summer to get the sunlight. We don't get sunlight here often, so try your best to get the vitamin D that your body needs through walking outside. You do not have to do a killer workout for that. Some people, they just take a walk around the house some people do push-ups, some people do some crunches and some dances 5 minutes non-stop. However, for myself, as you guys can see, I jog in the morning after breakfast and once I get home, I would clean up myself, take a shower and dress up. Cleaning yourself and making yourself look presentable is the other tip that I would like to share. During quarantine, you always have to dress up even if you are not going anywhere. Getting dresses can give you the motivation to do something important during the day. Do not stay in your pajamas or exercise outfit, but instead get dressed the same way as if you are going out. This will make you believe you are at work or surrounded by people, which makes you achieve more tasks. And dressing up just makes you feel wonderful about yourself. And it gives benefits not only to your physical appearance but as well as your mental and emotional state. And if you have work like myself, get up from your bed and go to work. Sometimes the simplest things are the hardest work ever. Why? Because we think it's too simple that we can just do it later, resulting in piles and piles of work. It's better to do your simplest job now instead of cramming everything later on, which can result stress and ultimately laziness. But for me, I go to work and grab all the opportunity they give me to get more hours and get more paid. I'm not really sure if videotaping my work is legal, however, Google said that as long as I don't videotape people's conversation, then it should be fine. Although, if ever this video is seen by my boss, please don't fire me, because I was discreetly filming myself, just so anyone wouldn't see me. <laughs> I only have a few more things to finish and once I'm done, I'll get ready to get in touch with people. And getting in touch with people is the second last step I would like to share. While others cannot do that physically, there are still different ways that would enable this option. Social relationships help you fulfill your social needs. So plan at least one interaction with the people you love every day. 
We can call your grandmother, your co-workers, or even your best friend. As for my family, we attend educational gatherings while still keeping ourselves safe from any calamities that may come our way. Of course, keeping distances from other people is a must. We gather and listen to other lectures which feed my mind with more information because learning is essential to our existence. <laughs> Butterfly chicken, yun nakaganon. Ilatag mo siyang ganon. Ang ganda ng pagkabake niya. Alam mo kung bakit? Kasi equal hit siya. And just like how food nourishes our bodies, information and continuous learning also nourishes our minds. And my last tip for everyone is to reward yourself after finishing a task. When you finish a goal and you reward yourself, it will help you motivate yourself to finish the rest of the things that you have to do. And that will be it for our video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys like our video. Please like and share, comment down below, and subscribe for, mon for more fun videos. And don't forget to ring the bell. See you guys. Bye.